Hey, hey, it's Risa G coming in from her cluttered kitchen. And I thought it's been a while since I did a multi haul. Um, today's my day off. Woohoo! And um, we had a few errands to do and ended up at several places. So um, I thought I would show you what I got. We went to ShopRite, we went to Aldi, we went to Costco, and we went to the Dutch Market in Flemington. Always a favorite. And uh, so I thought I would show you all the stuff we got. Okay, starting over here, we stopped at ShopRite for a moment because today at, in Warren County, we're having, at the store in Washington, we're having a bake sale. Um, I made some birthday cake scones. And um, so I went in there for that. Steve uh, picked up some Ritz crackers. I told him only if they were like two for something. And they were two for seven. So we got some more everything. Yay. Some garlic butter. And of course, Entenmann's. <laughs> you can never go come out of there without buying something from Entenmann's. And then I got two items from the bake sale. One of Chris's uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup um, Blondies. And some peanut butter cookies that looked especially yummy. All right. Then we went. Uh, oh, we hit Costco for the usual things. Um, we were all out of bacon. Uh, if we don't buy two rotisserie chickens, we always get one for the dogs and for us. Um, it's finally pumpkin pie season. Finally. Uh, last week they didn't have them. This week they did. Best pumpkin pie ever. Except for homemade. Um, the best in stores that we've ever seen. How many do we go through of this? We go through one a week uh, until January when they stop stocking them, right? <laughs> Man, we eat a lot of this pumpkin pie. All right, so I wanted to get some fish for tonight, but it's going to be tomorrow night instead. And I found some wild snapper. Um, so we're going to have some snapper. Um, and then I saw this new Tauntaun. They have... Um, another dressing slash marinade that they sell at Costco. I wasn't the only one who noticed this. Also two other people went right to the display when I did and bought one. Uh, garlic scallion. It's made with uh, Japanese soy sauce. So this should be interesting. I'm going to marinate some chicken in it. I needed, I realized last night, just before when I was going through the basement uh, pantry, we needed capers. Okay. Um, we needed new D3, because not only do you take it, but I take it. And then, instead of the regular Italian extra virgin olive oil, which was $19 a bottle, this was $13 a bottle, and it's 100% Spanish extra virgin olive oil. So I thought, what the heck, for $6 cheaper. And then, I've been noticing a lot of different seasonings out there that are buttery and garlicky. I've never heard of Kinder's. It's from California, Walnut Creek. But I also found one at um, Beeler's from uh, Philadelphia. So I thought I would try it out on some wings. So tonight we're going to have half the wings with this. All right. And then, um, all right, then uh, we went to the Dutch market. I needed, I went in for two things. I went in for these two things. I love their steakhouse onion cheese. I've been having a craving for a grilled cheese sandwich with this and caramelized onions. So I bought some of that. Always need baking powder. We're all running well. We have a huge thing of it down in the basement, but I think it all expired. So instead I decided from now on buying smaller things of it since I haven't been doing as much baking. Um, I always buy the chicken broth with parsley, no MSG, just in case we have no uh, chicken uh, stock, no bone broth. Um, so, I always have that in the house. Uh, and then I saw they have habanero cheddar. I'm making some spicy mac and cheese for me and daddy with that. And then, see, I told you, another thing, buttery garlic. I thought this would be great on popcorn. But I was also thinking chicken wings, and it even says on here, good overcooked wings. But I thought I would sprinkle it on beforehand and then bake them. Um, it's from Halteman Family Meats in Philadelphia. So, we'll see about that. Um, and of course, I, we went to Stoltzfus for turkey wings. At that hour, they were out of turkey wings, so I got some chicken wings. 
for tonight party wings. All right, and we got the dog some chicken livers. And then we went to Aldi. And um, obviously I got eggs because who doesn't want to buy a dozen eggs for 80 cents? Darn cheap. Uh, very good price on Honeycrisp apples. They're usually like $2.50 to $3 a pound. And this whole bag was less than two bucks. Uh, bananas, small potatoes to go with the wings. Um, I always buy some kind of hummus. This time the roasted garlic parmesan. The last time that garlic kale one was out of this world. Uh, so I can't wait to try that. And then, of course, they're also selling all kinds of pumpkin spice things starting this week. And I found cream cheese spread. And then, got a great deal on chicken thighs. I went in for a deal on chicken tenders. I couldn't find that deal. Uh, but these were uh, sitting 99 cents a pound. Can't beat that price. So I got two meals here. I'm going to marinate them each separately in different things and freeze them in two separate packages and we'll have two meals in the next couple of weeks. And, the, and that's all the stuff we got in our multi-haul today. Um, of course, if anybody has tried any of these things like the buttery garlic or um, the buttery steakhouse or the garlic scallion, let me know what you thought in the comments because I've never tried either of the three. I mean, any of the three. And um, interested to hear what other people think of them. Um, and uh, thanks for watching my haul. Like it. Of course, subscribe. Press the little bell. Share my videos. And come back again for more hauls, recipes, and stuff. Bye.